kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. After my last video on a coronavirus, we um, I read a lot of the comments and I noticed a trend on there about various conspiracy theories that were getting posted in the comments. Things like uh, coronavirus wasn't real, things like 5G, Bill Gates, um, governmental control, <clears throat> all these sorts of things. So I thought over the next few weeks I will start doing a series and actually dissecting every one of these. I've you know been you know researching and trying to find out the most information about each one of these topics as I, I could, and you know co uh, COVID versus flu and all these sort of things. So that's what we're going to be working on the next few weeks. And so the first one today we're going to be talking about is the uh, Bill Gates thing because that has been a very popular one, and I thought we'll address that one first. So. Bill Gates, I think the reason, you know, why he's kind of popped up in this is he has been an advocate for pandemic preparedness for years and even at a TED talk in 2015 where he actually, uh, I think so that's where this kind of started from some things he had said at that point in time and his being, being an advocate. So in that TED talk, he states that, uh, you know, you can have a virus where people will feel well enough while they're infectious and they get on a plane or they go to the market and that sounds like COVID-19 right so people automatically think well he kind of predicted the future you know or he just got lucky so then um, you know a lot of things link up so one one thing I will say people say Bill Gates and 5G those things are not related so if, if you're saying Bill Gates and 5G you're, you're the memes that you've been reading are totally wrong you're getting confused They're two separate things so the Bill Gates, um, now there, you'll hear about some event 201. And so according to uh, factscheck.org, there was um, actually an event or exercise called uh, event 201 that took place in October. It was hosted by John Hopkins Center for Health and Security, which the Gates um, Foundation participated in, and it focused on emergency preparedness in the event of a very severe pandemic. Now, um, but it didn't deal with two, uh, 2019 NCOV novel coronavirus, and it didn't make real life predictions about death tolls. So that's another little piece that people are taking and say, hey, okay, Bill Gates in 2015 said something about a virus that you, you be asymptomatic. He uh, has been an advocate for preparedness. And so now in October, he doesn't, he's, he's part of an exercise um, uh, the Gates Foundation participated in. So these are little nuggets that people take. And this is how conspiracy theories happen, you know. Um, so then, if you look at that though, so in that, in that event to a one, they used the term coronavirus. Now coronavirus is an umbrella term and it's not necessarily the, you know, the, the COVID-19. Coronavirus was actually even on Lysol cans. If, if, you know, you saw those memes also pop up on the internet and people were saying, oh, the coronavirus, well, because it's kind of an umbrella term. So the, the, the experiment, the event 201 was not talking about the COVID-19, it was just talking about a coronavirus. And I think in that one, it came from South America. Um, you can look it up and it has all the information there. So that brings me to if, if Bill Gates was some dastardly, you know, evil man, and why would he have this information where he could see it, you know, doing test runs, I mean, idiotic. He's a smart man. He runs Microsoft. He's one of the most richest men in the world. So don't you think he'd be smart enough then to have event 201, you know? And how we're going to dissect this is by logic. That's logic number one. Why, why would you? If I'm going to do something, I'm going to keep it a secret, right? If I'm doing something, because this will be a criminal act. So I'm going to keep it a secret. I'm not going to show my, you know, my practice, you know? And that goes on to <clears throat> how the theories start. So conspiracy theories usually start by lack of knowledge somebody not knowing enough about a topic and they can be easily convinced by uh, someone. And so that other someone will take nuggets and create a story. And usually it's easier to trick the less educated. And usually if you notice, the less educated are the most vocal people. Um, they're the ones that are the loudest, you know. Uh, they're, the, they're the ones spouting off and things like that because they don't know how to conduct themselves. 
So they're the easiest to trick and they're the most loud. So that's why you hear it so much. Back whenever coronavirus first started, you know, you didn't hear these, these things. And then the memes pop up and uh, people take memes as like their reality. And we'll talk about a meme in a second. The other thing that helps this theory is that uh, the Ch China has not been very truthful. They've kind of been withholding with um, the facts. However, Trump has exploited all their failures. And with that, I think that if there was some kind of dastardly evil menace of Bill Gates, you know, President Trump would call him out. He, he wouldn't allow that. He'd exploit him as well like he did China. The other nugget that, that hurts this is that there's so much misinformation from our politics, from the news media. And that is because COVID-19 is a new thing and we're learning as we go. So they'll say something and they'll realize, oh, that, that's not going to work. We have to change. Don't wear a mask, wear a mask. So, so it's a new, something we're actually learning and trying to figure out so the, the, the experts quote unquote, are learning as they go. And, and they're, you know, that's, that's how they're just, they're trying to do what's right, but, um, you know, they're, they're learning as they go. Um, so the theory for B Bill Gates is that he's doing this a to depopulate an overcrowded planet. Um, but it doesn't stop there. It, it's also about injecting microchips into people. Okay. We'll discuss that further, but the other, Thing that helps with this makes people believe this is that Gates has given a quarter of a million a billion dollars in an effort to develop develop a vaccine for COVID-19. And so now he's getting death threats. So he's trying to do something good, now he's getting death threats. But people are saying that he's trying to get this vaccine created with a microchip. And we'll talk about that in a second because there is some truth to that, but it's kind of skewed. So a lot of people get these things from memes, which is not news. Anybody can make a meme. Um, and let me tell you about a popper one that's out right now. I'll post up on the screen here, which is uh, Kurt Cobain. And they, uh, Kurt Cobain, they said in 1993, stated that you know his generation would, um, I'm paraphrasing, um, but his generation would elect someone that wasn't a politician, maybe even a business tycoon, somebody like Donald Trump's crazy that sounds. Well, that's not true. That never happened. He never said that. That was just a meme someone made. And now people are acting like that is something that had really happened. So Bill Gates, obviously, because the massive amount of people saying this, he has responded to this. And let's kind of talk about his response. He says, I'd say it's ironic that you take someone who's doing their best to get the world ready and putting in his case, billions of dollars into these tools for infectious diseases and really trying to solve broadly uh, infectious diseases, including those that cause pandemics. Gates said, but we're in a crazy situation, so they're going to be crazy rumors. So again, if, if, if I'd be a bad man and, and, you know, he'd do something, I don't even know if I'd address it. I'd, I'd be very quiet about it. You know, why would you, um, if you're really trying to, you know, take over the world, you know, he kind, of, he kind of just talks up, yeah, man, we're in a bad time. People are going to go crazy. They're sitting home a lot, you know. So microchip. ID2020 is brought up a lot. Now, ID2020 is a nonprofit, and basically they're talking about creating a digital ID, and that's what their focus is. And now Microsoft is a founding partner, as well as Gavi, which is uh, funded by Bill Gates um, as well. But there's also uh, 13 other founding partners that are not related. So he's not like the owner of ID2020 nor is he CEO, you know, so he, he has supported it financially, but, but he's not the, you know, main guy and it's a nonprofit and they're trying to do things throughout the world. Now, do I, do I like the idea of ID2020? Absolutely not. I, I'm not, I'm not doing microchips. I'm not playing that. I don't see any good in that. You know, I think that takes away from privacy and whatever. So then, you know, Gates, this also hurts the, or helps the uh, conspiracy theory is that he mentioned something about a digital certificate for those who recovered to COVID-19. So if you're traveling, you've got a digital certificate saying, hey, I had it, I got the vaccine to try to stop the pandemic. That's loony, you know, um, but anyway, then he also mentioned uh, tracking contacts as per South Korea has been doing. So 
and saying how great they've been doing. Well, you know, we're America and we're not going to do those kind of things here. So, um, very odd, but I chalked that up to him being a nerd. He's a tech guy and you know, he says stupid things, but, um, I think it boils down really to a bunch of misinterpreted research, um, from fundings and, and things he'd been part of. I think he kind of has the, he, he kind of has interest in, in pandemics and, and things like that. And so, you know, everybody, every rich person, celebrity, they want to do something, you know, whatever movement they want to be part of. And I think that's his gig, you know. Um, but let's say the conspiracy theory is true, right? So in the Bible, it talks about uh, Luke eight seventeen, and it says that uh, nothing hidden will not be disclosed. And it also says that in Genesis, what's done in the dark will come to light. What that means is, is that if you're doing bad things, eventually it'll get found out. And so if any of that is true, it's going to come out because there's going to be so many people involved. Think about how many people. It's not going to just be Bill Gates and some other guy. All these people working towards this, this, uh, this master plan of getting, you know, depopulating the world, getting these microchips, starting coronavirus. If he had made, had made that happen, He's going to have people that could, that's going to leak. People can't hold water. You can't tell anybody anything without anything getting out. Think about how many secrets you do hear all the time. And so the, the information would get out. Like it, it wouldn't be kept a secret very long. So it would come to light. And if that were to happen, he'd be hunted down like a dog and killed like the Nazis. You know, and I think he understands that. And I don't think he would, uh, you know, play with that. There's no amount of money in the world that will protect you from that. If you look at the uh, cartel leader, it, you know, Pablo Escobar, you know, all these different guys, um, Guzman, um, Chapo, you know, they had all the money in the world. They still get hunted down and killed. You know, the money thing doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. It's about doing right and wrong. If you're doing wrong, somebody's going to stop you. And so if that's the case, I think he'd be stopped. So um, let me know your thoughts. You know, um, it, like I said, if it's true, it'll come out and, and he'll be a dead man. But uh, I, I, me personally, I think it's just a lot of misinformation, things getting piled in there together. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, are you for that one or against that one? Um, we're also going to talk about 5G coming up and all these other various things, COVID versus flu and all these sorts of things. You know, it's, it's cool. Like the last video, I saw a lot of people get very amped up in the comments and saying, you know, various sorts of things. You know, the thing is COVID is real. I've known people that have lost their lives to it. I've known people sick from it. So it's not, it's not made up. I, I know people, I know people, I have very good, very good friends that work in the, uh, this working on the front lines of this. Like it's not, it's not a lie. Um, how it started, how it got here. Is it from a bat? I don't know. I don't, I don't think any of us really know, but you know, I do know it's real, so you need to take the precautions, you know, and I'm always trying to dig up, find the most information I can. You know, a lot of people, I think the new guys come on saying you're fear mongering. I'm not fear mongering. I'm trying to tell you the truth. You know, it's kind of like the food shortage. I got that information from very reliable sources, and I'm sure you'll see a skip here in a few weeks. I mean, I mean, there's already shortage here, so, but, you know, if you, you know, disagree, I mean, people can disagree. That's okay. You don't have to get bent out of shape about it, you know. Um, get your panties in a wad, like man up. Don't, you know, go in the comments crying like a little girl because, oh, you're not a patriot because of this. Uh, I, I done proved I'm a patriot, buddy. You know, I don't, have to, I don't have to prove anything to you. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be a man, quit whining, and uh, we'll talk about these things going forward. And I'm open to hear your thoughts. What's your, what's your thoughts on Bill Gates? Do you think he's, uh, you know, if he, is he the mastermind behind this? Let me know. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.